Okay, you've made it past the first round. Not too shabby. I'm sure Mr. Vitale will agree there's still plenty of games left to play, and one of them is this second-round game between the Wichita State Shockers and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Crimson Tide are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First of all, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Second of all, you got to pound the board. Boards lead to wins, baby. Third, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Boy, you go with all cylinders right in the opening seconds. They didn't waste any time attacking the basket. The ball goes out of bounds. They move it into the front court. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. He keeps the dribble as they reset. The ball hander might be in trouble here. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Inside, number 11 takes the feed. They still don't score. He'll regroup the offense. Number 35 takes the pass. For the bucket. And in and out. The point guard with the ball. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Way off target. Now working around the arc. Number one gets the ball. And he scores despite the hack. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Trying to pack it inside. He's got a nice shot fake. Gets it back out. The shooting guard gets the pass. He can't get the hoop to fall. Shows patience waiting for the reset. There's the screen up on top. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He takes the board. Fed the low block. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Number one is feeling great right now. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Inside, goes up for two. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'll be in trouble without him. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two. That's good. For a good shot. For two. He's definitely hogging the ball like you hog the microphone. Hey, sure he is. I can hear snorting from here. <laughs> Cross court. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block for the bucket. 
unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He's got a high post flasher. Goes up for two. And he missed. Number five is called for the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from right of the circle. Buried it. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. the dribble gives it up goes for the steal down low and he didn't get it I tell you, he took a chance and he lost baby number five modest play is having a negative effect on his composure emotional he couldn't be much lower I don't think. someone may have to talk to him he needs to get back on track that's a 10 zip run It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Dickie's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stress during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you, Aaron's exactly right. Post play is essential if you're going to be effective. Good, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. High post screen, so effective that screen. Off the rim and no good. He comes away with it. Number he got fouled in the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. Look at that celebration. He is pumped. He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. He's saying, get up, people, get up. This is the team's first trip to the free-throw line. He missed it. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the screen. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Gave it up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. On the dribble, gives it up. Number five looks to be down emotionally. He's got to step out of it. His team needs him. With the fake, a high screen for the bucket. Perfectly executed. The 
up and inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. And he'll kick it back outside. He pump fakes. Got the high pick. He shoots from the top of the circle. Misses the trade. This zone has this offense's number, Dick. They got him under lock and key, Brad. The frustration right there. Top of the circle. Gets it to go. There's the trap. He unloads a three, way off target. Now they work it around the perimeter. Number one with the fake. With anticipation defensively. He does the sweet fake shot. There's the fake. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Doesn't go. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Goes up for two. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Get that sucker out of the game, man. He takes the shot. Off the rim and no good. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. We got a lopsided game so far, Dick. You've got to be prepared mentally and physically right from the start. You can't afford to give up these big early leads. Gave it up. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That's nine unanswered. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. He fires away. Way off target. Both teams looking to get things going here. Defense giving some room. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Little bump. Says, I like that. Now let's see if we can convert. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaches told us their only worry was their team getting down too early. Now that this team has, the players are trying very hard not to panic and put it all together. All right, thanks, Aaron. It's two at the charity strike. Change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. And he'll kick it back outside. Gave it up. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Way off target. Now 
on the outside. Time to pick up the defense here now. Sets a screen for his teammate. For two, they still don't score. He goes with a jump hook. Can't get the shot to go. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I thought doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. On the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Look at that spacing. They're working around the perimeter. He tries the three. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot will go. They let him out of a double team there. That's not the way you utilize the double. Looking for a good shot. Good fake. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Gave it up. Picked off. They'd like to get inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Fakes the shot. With a little baby hook. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks could cure. Off the rim and no good. Now they work it around the perimeter. Got a okay. nice screen. Easy one. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks like they have. Yeah, that helps. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> A momentary look from three-point land. He hits the shot. Hey, he's telling himself to crank it up. Something's got him fired up. Turns it over. They're working around the perimeter. Nice fake. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. He's taken too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's forcing his team there with him. Gave it up for two and off the mark. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Look at this last play right here. He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Look at 
that's facing. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. He throws it up from downtown. He missed. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Puts it up. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Looks at the three. He gets the shot to fall. On the outside. He's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. He buries it. Oh, he's agitating his opponent now. Oh, Brad, he's pointing his opponent. We'll take the shot. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. the turn of the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For the bucket. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. The fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He puts up the tray. Way off target. Down low, there's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Kicks off the lazy pass. Shot clock is dead. Here's a flash from the high post. Goes up for two, and he missed. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. From center court, off the rim and no good. At halftime, the Shockers are down by 16. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Number 11 is having a decent game, I guess, Dick, but is that going to be enough? Obviously not, Brad. Decent game by a star player just doesn't cut it, especially when a team is losing big. He's got to play more inspired ball in his second half, hoping to build some momentum and chip away that deficit. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. 
He attempts the trifecta. Not there. The shooting guard handles the pass. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. The power forward handles the feed. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Dump it inside. Pump fakes. Number one picks up the foul. First team foul. Gave it up. He attempts a jump hook. Off the rim and no good. Fakes it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Oh, what a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move and good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens. We're going to move it around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. You know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup? So, hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. You'll go to the line. Makes the foul shot. Sinks it. Whistled for the foul. Second team foul. The center receives the ball. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. High post screen, gonna use it. He takes a three. He's not letting the game come to him at all. Yeah, Brad, he's trying too hard to build a one-man show. He's taking the game away from his other teammates. Come on, man, get with the team. Get the flow. Moving it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. Tries to get the D to bite. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Looking for the foul. Gave it up. The point guard receives the pass. Looking for a good shot. With the fake. For two. In and out. Picks off the pass. Well, 
Looking for a good shot. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. And working around the perimeter. Launches the three. Makes the shot. That's a 7-0 run. For two. Up and in. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Pressure that basketball. Kicks it out. He takes the three. The shot's off target. On the outside. On the top of the circle. He misses from beyond the arc. Launches away. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really does do a great job of sealing him off. Now working around the arc, number 35 is charged with the foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Nope. Got to make the freebies. He makes the third. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Up and inside. He tries the three ball. They're punishing the rim with those misses from three-point lane. Yeah, Brad, no one seems to have found the touch. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't. He posterized him. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. They will line them up. Good. The Crimson Tide are up by 27. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Looking for a good shot. He pulls the trigger. Good. Replay, please. it inside and, he, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Try to come up with a steal and they do. Oh, 
Hickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. They're working around the perimeter. There's the fake. Look at that spacing. Jumped in front to take it away. Number 34 with the foul. Fourth team foul. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. Number one to the line for two. Gets the first shot. Sinks both of them. That's seven unanswered. On the dribble, gives it up. He throws up the shot. He hits the shot. Now the high screen. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, two sets of emotions on the sidelines so far. One team is saying keep attacking, keep up the pace, while the other team, well, they're just looking for an answer. Can they find it, guys, before it's too late? Thanks, Aaron. Makes those free throws count. He wants to go back on that campus. It's BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there in the front. Of Any chance for a comeback in this blowout, Dick? I'd have to see it to believe it. I don't think there's enough time. Up and inside. Entry pass in the paint. Tries for two. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Trying to stay with him defensively, and he's going to pick up the foul. Oh, what a terrific job exploding that basket. Poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep. Tries one from three-point land. Oh, yes. And he'll kick it back outside. Fake. For the deuce. Oh, he's going to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Way off target. Picked off. Up and inside. Takes the pass in the paint. Knocks it down. Moving it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, and you spin back the other way. Gave it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot.
He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Looking to move it around the perimeter on the outside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Number 12 is called for the foul. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Nice shot fake. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. seconds on the shot clock Wichita he got the bucket and the foul hey the foul in the air couldn't stop him baby he wanted that bucket number one to the line for one got it on the outside he puts up the three ball. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. Look at that spacing. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got a good help side. Looking for a good shot. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Steals the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Here's the three ball. Man, did you see that, Dick? That really silenced the crowd. Huge shot. That may be the difference. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Working it around the perimeter. In the paint. Jumps into the defender. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Gave it up. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He shows the sweet touch. <laughs> Gives it 
Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. a clean steal. Hey, some of these kids never learn. Most player kicks it out. They work it around the perimeter. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. On the outside, he fires from long range. He gets it to go. Double team now, bad angle. Goes up for two, rims out. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it there. Oh, I'll tell you one thing, what a poor job defensively, he gambled. Looking for a good shot. From right of the circle. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Here's the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Strips the ball. Number five is pounded on his way up. He's been making some great plays, but taunting? This crowd may be giving him some unwanted attention. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. Just like in practice. No finish on that one. Now they work it around the perimeter. Stolen. Faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Yes! Up and inside! They're working around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He is going to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Second one, no good. Change things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. He looks for the bomb. Rims out. And yet another foul. Now we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. He makes the front end of the one and one. Second shot is no good. Look at that spacing. 
run him right at the screen again. What did I say? He nails the bucket. Shot clock is dead. And the clock stopped with a foul. With the free throw. He makes the front end of the one and one. Second one is no good. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. He fires away. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. They're going to move it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. shot and he misses the shot all right dick this one's over one team moves on one team's got to go home and that's the sad part about the ncaa tournament well the better team won because they protected the basketball they made sure they converted on the free throw line they did all the little intangibles we talked about and that was the difference in the game the crimson tide graduates to the sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play.